The next thing that's really cool that we'll talk about before we get into the KOL stuff. Oh, excuse me. Is that Micron begins shipping HBM4 memory for next gen AI systems. So if you guys aren't aware, there's basically, you know, two different types of memory. There's GDDR and then there's HBM. Now, HBM has historically been the faster option, more for enterprise as well, uh, for memory. It started very early on in some AMD consumer line desktop grade GPUs, and they eventually moved, you know, obviously all to the uh, enterprise server workload GPUs. And now we're on, so everybody's aware for the 50 series now on NVIDIA, we're up to GDDR7, which has been comparable to HBM2 and 3. And then of course, well, you know, HBM has got to be faster. So Micron has started shipping its latest high bandwidth memory, HBM4, to key customers developing next generation AI platforms. The new HBM4 36 gigabyte 12 high stacks offer major improvements in performance and power efficiency aimed at accelerating AI workloads and data centers. Built on Micron's one beta DRAM process and advanced 12 high packing, HBM4 delivers more than two terabytes a second of bandwidth per memory stack through a 2048 bit interface as you guys know i like big buses and i cannot lie this is pretty awesome so this translates into over 60 percent higher performance compared to previous generation hbm 3e power efficiency is also improved by more than 20 percent helping reduce energy consumption in large-scale ai systems these improvements are critical as ai models grow in size and complexity driving demand for faster more efficient memory micron's hbm 4s performance, higher bandwidth, and industry-leading power efficiency are a testament to our memory technology and product leadership, blah, blah, blah. This is Raj, of course, over at Micron Cloud's memory business unit. It is already being or sampling with multiple customers and is positioned to support the next wave of AI accelerators and large language model deployments across industries, including healthcare, finance, and transportation, as well as like obviously finance includes crypto. And so I'm sure a lot of crypto trading is going to get done through AI, right? The first products featuring HPM4 memory include NVIDIA, Vera Rubin platform, and AMD Instinct MI400. So those are the two that will include it. Obviously, NVIDIA has been killing it with the AI. This is primarily, though, due to CUDA support and not necessarily NVIDIA's hardware uh, performance. I think like right now I know Vulcan is kind of starting to get out there in open LLM. I think once that gets out there in the open source side of things, and then you get AMD competition on the memory side of things with the HBM4, you know, I think AMD could position itself a little bit better on the AI side of things. It did beat uh, Intel to market with their AI uh, chips here recently. I think their SOCs, which uh, I don't know if we've covered on this channel, uh, but those are pretty interesting. And uh, we'll have to see where it goes from there as well. But yeah, all the AI is mostly based on CUDI. Yeah, and that's like PyTorch and all that. It, like I said, I think uh, Open LLM's beta Vulkan support just came out like last week or something, and I think it will be a big deal. Now, if you guys are looking for new miners, well, unfortunately for GPUs, there's not much going on, but SRB Miner did release something 10 hours ago. Version 2.9.1, uh, huge shout out to Doctor for just keeping things up to date. He's really like the last standing GPU, CPU mining dev, it feels like. I mean, I know IE Doc is around uh, with BZ Miner, but he's really slowed down on releases. I mean, let's, let's face it who was working on caspa right out the snap uh it was you know ie doc from 
uh, BZ Miner, I had uh, reached out to him and said, hey, check this project out. He had support like right off the bat, solo node mining with BZ Miner. We got stratums from one more B Smith uh, developed very early on. I mean, that was all being done within the Son of a Tech community. And frankly, I don't think that IE Doc probably ever has to develop jack shit ever again. Let's just put it that way, right? Um, <laughs> let's be honest. So, uh, we should be grateful for anything we get from them at this point, <laughs> but, uh, SRB minor back to SRB minor. Uh, he released performance efficiency improvements for Shaw three X on AMD and NVIDIA GPUs and performance efficiency improvements for dual mining fish hash and Shaw three X on AMD RDNA and NVIDIA GPUs and some minor bug fixes here and there. So, uh, really awesome to see, you you know, SRB miner still ticking away. And uh, Mr. Ticket B says 3% on Tari sucks though. I didn't mind it. The thing is, is like, <sighs> when you're the only software on the block, you can get away with higher rates, right? This is why, unfortunately, as far as like bit streams go, it's not uncommon to see like 15 to 30% fees uh, which obviously is extremely disappointing, but the problem is, is there's no competition. And then from the minor developer perspective, right? A lot of these coins that they're adding support for, I mean, how long has it been since we've had, you know, a project really that's been sustainable, uh, to any level and so they're trying to get in get out i assume for the most part right so i get it it's like it really does come down to supply and demand and if you're the if there's no competition then there's no reason to drive down fee percentages right i mean that is what it is um at the end of the day and so what are you gonna do um Hmm. Other than that, let's see. So let's go ahead and get into the meat of the topic here, which is a really fun one. I found this website. Maybe you guys have heard of it. It's called marketprofit.com. Uh, Profit spelled P-R-O-P-H-I-T. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. If you would like to see more from this particular episode, take a look up here. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me directly, you can go to sonofatech.locals.com and become a member. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.